The house that Jack built is the title of Lars von Trier's film, but it's also very literally uh, the house that Jack built that you see here uh, uh, at the exhibition. We got involved uh, because uh, I received a phone call uh, one day uh, from um, Lars's producer who said that uh, they were working on a project where they needed an architect. And uh, uh, I have always been an immense fan of Lars von Trier. In my mind, he's one of the greatest artists we have in, uh, in Denmark, uh, period. Uh, and, uh, uh, and of course, uh, it was a dream to, to be invited to collaborate with Lars von Trier. Uh, I had probably not dreamt uh, what kind of a collaboration we would end up doing. And it is definitely the most morbid, macabre architecture that I will ever work with. And since I had to look at this, not with the eyes of a, of a mass murderer, but with the eyes of an architect. I thought since uh, human figures are more like uh, linear elements, uh, some kind of close uh, um, reference could be that of, um, of a, a wooden lattice building, as you know it from traditional uh, sort of Danish uh, rural architecture, uh, that you make the framework out of wood and then you fill in the walls with, uh, with clay and, uh, uh, and straw. Uh, so that's what, that's what you know from traditional Danish farmhouses. So um, basically the way we approached the job was that we, I went uh, for my meeting with, uh, with Lars. Uh, I went straight back to the studio and uh, uh, with uh, Joanna, one of, my, uh, one of my colleagues, we just went to the model shop and we chose uh, 60 model people uh, uh, and laid them out and then we asked ourselves, how can we, almost like a, like a MacGyver challenge, how can we make a house, a building, out of these uh, materials? Uh, and uh, we, we made the first model, tried to make it as close to a children's drawing uh, of a building that you could possibly do, uh, took some photos of it uh, and sent it back to Lars. Uh, and he was sort of instantly intrigued by, uh, by the results and in a sort of back and forth, uh, he had all kinds of comments. He didn't want the two, pe the two people uh, framing the door to be the same size uh, so that uh, the, the door becomes more sort of crooked, a more sort of distorted, more surreal, more macabre. Uh, and in that sense, uh, almost like the way that, uh, that, that I normally work with, uh, with my own team, my own designers, we had a back and forth where uh, we tried to sort of incorporate uh, Lars's comments and he came back and eventually uh, we, um, we, we created the, the house that stands there. Uh, and, and also, I think, one of the things he said that has actually guided a lot of my thinking about my career is that he said, if you're interested in innovation, uh, you should do a genre movie. Because by choosing a genre, a genre comes with very specific rules. Uh, and once you have a rule book, you actually have a list of rules you can either break or bend. And in the same way, whenever we approach a project, we always start by studying uh, how do we normally do, what is typical for this type of program or this type of function. Then we establish the rule book, and then we start one by one questioning those rules. Uh, so I also think that the last methodical way of being created within his field, because he's so methodical about it, there's a lot of translation from the, from the field of cinema into the field of architecture uh, and other fields. Uh, so for, for me, uh, despite the very sort of morbid nature of the, of the piece, it has been uh, very uh, inspiring to, to finally work with, uh, with an artist that I, that I have always greatly admired.